Welcome, bitches, one and all, to my reaction to Season 1, Episode 6 of the Originals, Fruit of the Poisoned Tree. So last time, we finally got the story of why Davina turned on the witches and why Sophie is so hellbent on getting her back. Now, luckily, we did also have Davina free Elijah and actually allow him to be on his way. So we finally got our three siblings back, which... It's scary for everyone else. Like, good fucking luck once you got these three back together. But yes, with that said, very excited to get into it and see where the story goes. So without further ado, let's go. I presumed after so much time desiccating in a coffin that my big brother might be a bit peckish. <laughs> forgiveness cannot be bought. I'd simply prefer to see a change in behavior that indicates contrition and personal growth. <laughs> well, I couldn't very well let her go to waste, could I? Fuck's sake, Klaus. Well, I suppose I'll fetch the rubbish bin because she's staining a 200-year-old carpet. Oh, my. It's... It's a crazy concept because through watching The Vampire Diaries all this time and watching this show, you, like, you get used to these dead bodies. You get used to the idea that these people just go out and kill and it's like, oh, la-da-da, ha-ha. It's just another part of their character. But, like, it's actually insane when you think about it. Like, they've just gone and murdered this girl. And they're being so nonchalant to about book club and Rebecca's saying she's staining the carpet. A girl has just died. It's just crazy how you get used to this kind of stuff. <laughs> Especially with them. Like, they've actually got used to all of this death over all these hundreds of years. Good morning. Hey. There is something going on with these two. You know, I do hope my siblings were hospitable toward you in my absence. In your absence, as you like to call it, which is a way too polite way of saying that your brother put a dagger in your heart. <laughs> your siblings are weirdly protective. I know I have you to thank for that. I'm just happy to see that you're in one piece. Okay, right. Few things to note from this. One, fucking love Elijah, and I'm so glad that he's back. He's definitely my favorite of the siblings, if not one of my favorite characters overall. But secondly, I just there's something going on with these two. There is some kind of connection here. I don't know if they're going to explore it. I don't know if it's going to turn into some kind of relationship because even though Klaus and her are having a baby, Klaus is not interested one bit, and Haley is not interested one bit in them actually being together. So I don't know. There's an NG here. Maybe they're going to explore that. But the other thing that I want to talk about was also the... For all of the shit that they do to each other and for all of the annoyances they have with each other, they are a family. And even Rebecca hating Klaus, I feel like some part of her does still want to protect him. They want to protect each other and they want to be together because they are a family. And it's just so cool to see that brought up from time to time. I think Elijah is definitely the glue that holds them all together. Once he's around, it like reminds them of their family values. And... Yeah, it's just nice to see. Whenever Elijah's around, they seem to actually be a family. As soon as they're unlinked, we get to leave this crap town. Who do we have to kill? Probably no one. All right, potentially everyone. <laughs> I was going to say, probably no one. Are you sure about that, bro? Don't get cranky with me. I'm the only witch who still likes you. <laughs> huh? What the, oh. what the fuck? Who are these bitches? Are they witches? They didn't seem to have super speed or anything like that. But wait, no, but they were quite covered up. So maybe they are vampires who have like covered themselves up from the light. Elijah's back in his presence. All problems turn to pixie dust and float away. Uh, I love the reference of pixie dust after we literally just saw someone go. Phew. What are you doing with mother's spell book? Well, in exchange for my freedom, I promised the witch to Vina that I would share a few pages from mother's grimoire. But we begin with a little unlinking spell. Ooh. As of now, our deal with Sophie Devereaux is null and void. Damn. Niklas, I need you to come with me. I need five minutes alone with Davina. You need to make certain that I am not interrupted. You stay here and watch Haley. <laughs> How did I get elected super nanny? More importantly, <laughs> who put him in charge? I mean, I feel like with Elijah around, you're going to get a lot more done, Klaus. So just fucking listen. There's got to be somebody somewhere that you can trust. Yeah, there is someone. We used to be best friends. Who? Rebecca? Like... <laughs> Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. <laughs> You've been avoiding me, Uncle Kay. My favorite niece? Never. Don't lie. This is a church. <laughs> this is a sanguinum knot. The witches use it as representational magic. If you can unknot this rope using that spell, you'll have taken an important step towards control. Now, if you can perform this, I shall return with another page. I have a few questions here, though. One, is Elijah doing this under false pretenses is he not telling Davina that by doing this spell it's going to unlink Sophie and Haley, or is it not going to unlink them this is him just teaching her the spell so that later on she can unlink them because if he is coming in here under false pretenses and not telling her 
then he's doing just as bad as the witches were doing and Davina is not going to be happy about that. Like if she finds out that you've done this and not told her, she's going to be pissed. I slept like a baby every night this week, even though my twin brother hacked nine priests to death. Not two feet from this confessional, a guy I've been seeing, Marcel. Ooh. And I'm more upset about that than seeing murder scrawled across my brother's grave. Is he going to have an inkling that it's something to do with compulsion? I need to feel that pain. Without it, I feel broken, empty, like... Uh, this is such a cool concept when you think about compulsion because you think to yourself they're making you not feel this pain but it's so fucking human to feel it it's so human to feel with this pain and to learn to live with it to try and get to a better place with it to just have it switched off doesn't work you can't process your emotions and like she's saying she's still dealing not with the emotion but she's dealing with the thought processes of there is someone out there who I so badly wanted to find out why they did this to him, what they did to make him lose his mind and go and kill people, but she almost doesn't care. And that not caring is making her feel like shit because she's thinking, why don't I care? Why overnight do I suddenly not give an absolute shit about what happened to my twin? It's a side of compulsion that we really don't get to see a lot. The only person that is responsible for Sean's behavior is Sean. Or the witches. Do you really believe that? Yes. I don't think he does. He knows that something was up. When you got all these supernatural creatures in town, nah. He's just not gonna bring it up to her. Go with me! Leave her be. So they were witches, okay. I'm the last remaining elder of our coven. It is my duty to protect our power, and our power means nothing if that baby grows another day. That baby will bring death to us all. I was just thinking, if anything that happens to Sophie happens to Haley, does that mean that even if they don't kill Sophie, if they just stab where the baby would be, then would that still transfer to Haley and stab the baby? And then, like, Sophie won't die from that, but it would still kill the baby? No, no, Agnes, no, 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 don't, don't do this. No! What? Yeah. So even if she's like drugged, does it affect her? Allow me to entertain you with today's list of priorities. One, unlink your friend Sophie so she no longer controls the fate of the woman carrying my child. Do not reveal that, Klaus. Ah, uh, is Marcel getting someone out of a crypt? So, Thierry, you and I are gonna have a little talk about Klaus Michelson. Ooh. You know, when I first met you, I thought you were a real bitch. You <laughs> changed your mind. Oh, I still think you're a bitch. I've just grown to like that about you. <laughs> it's funny that we're looking at two Australian women, one using an American accent and one using a kind of British accent. <laughs> oh, is it taking effect? Here we go. Cursed objects were created a long time ago. The one she used is called the Needle of Sorrows. It has one purpose, to kill a child in utero by raising our blood temperature. Shit. I saw her use a similar object on a kid who went mad and killed a bunch of priests. Uh... Precisely why we need to unlink you from Haley. No more danger towards her or the child. I'm sorry, my darling, it's happening. We are not on the same side, Sophie Debro. Our yeah. deal no longer stands. Ooh. This guy's been in my town for months, but hiding where he lays his head at night. What else is he hiding is what I want to know. Yeah. I didn't listen to you before, but I sure as hell am now. I think Max was compelled. No. All my guys are on Vervain. Not if Klaus drained him. Yep. Max went missing for a couple of days before the rousting, right? Yep. Oh, he's making some good points. He's making some very good points. The thing is, it was all bound to come out at some point. Like, Klaus having people in Marcel's inner circle, it's just... It's a good idea, and of course, like, any of us would do the same. It's a good idea to get in his inner circle and try and get someone in, like, the deep inner circle, which he's trying to do with this vampire he's got compelled. But someone going missing for two days and coming back and doing something like that, it is dodgy. So, unfortunately, you might have, a little sl you might have had a little slip up there, Klaus. Somebody else in the crew had to be compelled. Watch your back. Uh-huh. I wonder if he's going to know. Because it seems like the guy's trying to get close to him. Marcel overstepped. I will handle it. Easier said than done. Oh. I created this group. 
Only in my day, it was a bunch of pirates and corrupt politicians. Looks like nothing's changed. Oof. I've come to ask this group to utilize its considerable resources to find a witch elder named Agnes. And why would we want to help you? What if I told you that Agnes was the answer to a question you've been asking since you ran screaming from this town? Shit. We'd need some time to just- I don't have the time! <laughs> Or do I like being asked to wait? I politely suggest you do as I say and give us time to discuss it. You know what I like about you, Father? Is you're aware of my reputation and yet still you stand tall against me. You have one hour. Ah, okay. Honestly, I'm a little bit surprised by that because I would have thought with Klaus, given how prideful he is, once this guy had stood up to him, he would have like been annoyed that he'd been made to look weak and he would have killed one of these people. But the fact that he actually admired what this guy did makes me admire Klaus because it kind of gives him a little bit of that, um, a little bit of that flair that Elijah has where you really respect the person. So yeah, shockingly, I'm actually impressed by Klaus. <laughs> that he's given them an hour, damn. Track down that witch. Cell phone records. Our guys in the ninth. For the vampire? No. For me. Yeah, it's not for the vampire. Vesmeros, Omnio, Ligor, Coldate, Singorium. I'm sorry, that is the most American accent I've ever heard speaking like a spell. <laughs> I may know a way to slow the fever down, but I'm gonna need some special herbs. I'll text you a list. Fine. How about you play the fetch call? Bless you, Rebecca. Rebecca, more than the other three, is definitely the errand girl, which will get very tiresome very quick. So I hope they all play their part. Ah, this is where Marcel is coming, isn't it? She'll leave you the keys in her will, or maybe it's just help yourself Tuesday. <laughs> Shit. Founder, what are you going to do with this information, Father? You seem hell-bent on enacting vengeance all on your lonesome. Yep. I propose we strike a deal. Bring her here. In exchange, I'll even ensure your niece, Cammy, remains safe. I would so hate for her to get caught up in all of this. Oh, Klaus. <laughs> Fuck's sake. What's the charge? You know that Marcel runs the vampires in this town. Who do you think runs everything else? I believe this is what you're looking for. Hello, Agnes. Oh, she's terrified now. Undo its curse, or I'll show you things worse than death. Damn. Dark optics don't come with an off switch. The curse took root in Sophie. She's linked to your devil child. It's just a matter of time. Oh, bitch, you are fucked. <laughs> this is never gonna work. The Vino will break that link. We just need time. Okay, so through breaking this knot, it is going to break the spell. That's a little dodgy, Elijah, because you are doing this without Davina's knowledge. And if Davina finds out that you've used her like this, she is going to be pissed. Come on, Davina. Let's go, Davina. She's good. Ooh, little moment between those two. Elijah, she's our only access to the power we need to survive. Promise me that you'll stop him. Is that in Elijah's best interest, though? No, don't hurt her. I'll be there shortly. Mm. I'll make you one last promise. I won't let my brother kill Agnes. I'll do it. Ah. Interesting, though. He won't let his brother kill Agnes, but will he do it? Because we know that Elijah values this baby above anything else. So anyone coming to kill this baby, Elijah's not going to be happy either. But Elijah does keep to his promises. But as we saw on our first introduction to Elijah, back when we had Rose and Trevor, Elijah said that he wasn't going to harm Rose. He didn't say anything about Trevor. So just like here, he says that I'm not going to let my brother kill Agnes. Could mean that he's going to do it or let the humans do it. Yeah, linking worked. Maybe now we can make plans. Not now, Rebecca. Can we discuss this when I return? I won't be here when you return. Huh? That sounds like a goodbye. I guess it is. Huh? I thought that I might be able to convince you to come with me, but here you are rushing off into whatever Klaus and Marcel and the witches have cooked up. Don't leave, my darling, please. You'll never leave Klaus. This thing that you and Klaus and Marcel have, I want no part of it. I just want to be free. 
That's fair, my darling. You are free. I do feel for Rebecca. She's definitely the one out of all the siblings who's very much just like, she's not really got any power in any of the relationships. She's just kind of used. How about one for the road? Why, so you can lick me up and convince me to stay? Why else did you come here? I came to say goodbye. Then say it. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, Rebecca. I don't think you're here to say goodbye, at least to Marcel. Oh. oh, shit. Here we go, being a long time coming. <laughs> Can't say I'm shocked. You know, I contemplated leaving bits of you artfully arranged outside your family's tomb. Klaus, Jesus Christ. Leave her. I gave my word. You tend to give your word at the most inopportune times, brother. <laughs> my noble brother. How's that for personal growth, eh? Still, it is just like you to spoil my fun. <laughs> oh, not necessarily. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Elijah. No, I swore you would not die by my brother's hand. But by mine. I said nothing my own yep <laughs> no one hurts my family and lives <laughs> fucking hell elijah oh i love him so much now this is an interesting duo because you do wonder is this like a secret plan by rebecca to get in marcel's good books maybe she is after talking to elijah she's thinking to herself maybe i should stay around but i want better leverage in this i want to be more important to everything going on rather than just being the little errand girl that could be her mindset or could we go down a completely different path and rebecca might help marcel might turn on her family that's an extremely unlikely thing but i don't know maybe, maybe her feelings for marcel run a lot deeper than we realize but yeah it's either all of that or they're just gonna have this nice night and rebecca is gonna leave i hope she doesn't because i really like her and i want to stick around but meh I've been away from this home almost a hundred years and you haven't changed a thing in my bedroom. <laughs> I guess I was holding out hope that you come back to it. I imagine it's not quite as comfortable as those beds at the Palace Royale. Ooh, here we go. I'm famished. Nah, apples aren't my thing. Get my ass beat if I ever ate them working on that plantation, even the spoiled ones. Now they just remind me of a time when I couldn't have things. Mm, that's fair. Come with me. Go where, Rebecca? Wherever we want to. This empire, it thrives because of me, and you want me to run. A man does not run from his home. I have lived a lot. It's so frustrating the way that Marcel sees this, because he's basically saying to Rebecca, you ran, I stayed. Their father wasn't after you, mate. You were Gucci. You were good. Of course you didn't run because you didn't need to. They needed to because he was going to fucking kill them. It's like, it's such a frustrating point to make. If there is one thing I know to be true, it is that no matter how big your empire becomes, it is nothing. If you have no one to share it with, Oof. I won't be here to stop you. Damn. Okay. She has a point, though. He does seem like he's quite alone. Was Josh followed? Yep. Oh, shit. Was that intentional from Rebecca? I feel like that might have been intentional on Rebecca's side because if you tell... Basically, if she tells Marcel this information, then that means that Marcel gets New Orleans and her family's going to have to leave, which she doesn't really want everyone staying here. So that could have been her play. Either that or she just naively, ga naively gave him the apple, but I don't see that as being something Rebecca would do. She's too smart. Hi there. I'm Marcel. I don't think we've met. Shit. Shit. Do you remember the promise I made you? You promised you'd find out what happened to Sean. A witch hexed him to commit those murders and to kill himself. I knew he wasn't crazy. She was already paid for her actions in blood. Wait, you killed somebody? Well, I had a hand in the matter, yeah. <laughs> You just made me culpable in a revenge murder I never asked for. I've been alive. Yeah, it's it. <laughs> it's funny because through Cammy, we're getting a real look into what real life human beings think of these vampires' actions. Like, to Klaus and Elijah, she crossed them. 
and so it was so easy for them to kill her but to a normal human who hasn't lived in this world who hasn't dealt with this to know that like this guy just went out and killed them and he's coming with a smile on his face fucking creepy and weird i don't know how but i will undo whatever the hell it is you've done to me and when i do you're gonna wish you never laid eyes on me oh shit well damn take him down cammy jesus i swung by your place earlier to commiserate over a drink but i must have just missed you the palace royale didn't suit me i mean your other place yeah klaus does he take Haley? Is she with you? What the hell are you talking about? Haley's gone. Where is she? What? Yeah. Marcel was here. Rebecca. You done fucked up, girly. Shit. I just, I really, I need to find out if it was intentional. I need to find out if Rebecca gave Marcel that information intentionally or if she just slipped up. So yes, there we have season one, episode six of the originals and another fantastic one at that. I have missed this show. It's been about a week and a half since I recorded. And even then I hadn't done the originals when I stopped because of, as you all know, personal family business, but I hadn't done the originals when I stopped. So it's been a good like two weeks since I've been able to watch it. And I forgot how fucking gripping it is. It's one of those shows that truly makes you just want to keep watching and keep binging it because it's so fucking good. Now, let's get into the story. So, the last elder of their coven is now dead. I don't know if this means that they literally lose access to being able to do the harvest ritual. I don't know if it means that that is completely off the table because I don't, technically, surely they would still be able to do it. Surely they'd be able to find some kind of like information in a book or maybe commune with dead witches because we know that is that a possibility in the show actually has that happened before i'm trying to think back if there's ever a time where a witch has literally called on someone from the dead to come talk to them i don't think there has been because the reason i said that was because i don't know why but my brain went back to charmed if any of you have seen it and they would always commune with the dead they would talk to their grandmother and all that so it just it didn't really like it registered in my head that I was thinking of that. So maybe that isn't a possibility in this world. But if they can, then all they really need to do is ask a dead witch for the information about the harvest ritual. And then you're Gucci. And even then, do they really need information? Because all they really need to do is kill Davina. They need to take that blade and slit her throat. And then she joins the others. And then they all come back. That's, as, that's how I understand the ritual. But yeah, all in all, the witches are not going to be happy, especially if they find out that it was Elijah that did that, which means that they've kind of made Sophie Devereaux a number one enemy now because she's not going to be happy and she's going to try and get them back for that. Now, moving on to the Cammy stuff. Fucking hell, the amount of people that stood up to Klaus this episode, Jesus Christ, these humans are strong-willed. But yeah, so the one way that we know of that can get your memories back and cancel a compulsion is turning into a vampire so maybe if it didn't look likely after what marcel said but maybe if her and marcel actually get into a relationship and pursue it he might change her into a vampire and that means that she'll get her memories back but other than that i can't think of another way that you could break it like if you take the vein it cancels future compulsions out but it doesn't eliminate ones that have already been made perhaps maybe because i didn't understand what happened there at the end it seemed like when klaus left it erased that conversation from her mind. So I don't know if Klaus set up a compulsion that would do that. Like anytime we talk to each other, erase it from your mind. I think he did, didn't he? Because he's spoken to her before and it hasn't registered in her head that she needs to remember this and talk to Marcel and all that. So I feel like he has got one of those compulsions set up. So maybe if her uncle gets her on the vein, the next time Klaus goes to see her, she's going to remember and she'll then be able to... No, but that doesn't work either, does it? Because once you're on the vein as long as that initial compulsion of do what i say and don't tell anyone stands she's going to be able to she's going to like keep forgetting their interactions so i don't know the only way that we can really get her out of it is to turn to a vampire at the end of the day then so yeah like i said that was another fantastic episode and i'm very excited to explore it more we don't know where Haley is it seems as though marcel has taken her and hidden her somewhere maybe they can use davina to find her because davina is the only witch that can do locator spells in town so maybe elijah is going to be honest with her and ask for her help but i'm not sure now obviously marcel now knows about klaus's inner circle man so I think it's safe to say that he's dead as well but yeah things really do seem to be heating up i just i need to know whether rebecca did that intentionally i feel like she did she's too smart to not 
do that intentionally. She's too smart to make a mistake like that. So yikes, Rebecca. There are going to be some repercussions with your family on that front. But yes. Anyway, with that said, thank you very much for watching. I've left a link down below to my Patreon. We're we'll able to find the early on cut reactions to the originals and all the other shows that I do. Also left a link to my Twitch, my Discord, and my socials. So be sure to follow them if you are interested. And Jess, thank you very much for watching. And I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.